Hey, so this is a tutorial on the, it's more like a quick tip on the linear speed and angular speed. And if you get into a model, generally um, I've seen this happen when you get into a model and from the usual default, you use the walking tool and next you know you're, you're sprinting across the entire building incredibly fast in both uh, going forward and when you're kind of panning around left to right. And it's, it's pretty annoying if you don't know how to fix it, but luckily I was able to figure that out and it's, it's actually pretty simple. If you come to your viewpoint tab over here on the navigate panel in this drop down right here, you can select linear speed and angular speed. You can change you know how quickly it's moving or going forward when you're you know the max that it's doing it, you can change that here. So right now you can see like, and if anybody knows how this wor works, depending on where you put it on the screen, it, you know that's how much room you kind of have. You you have th from this point that you pick to the point you get to the end of the screen is how quick you do it. So if you pick here and move it, you know that's what you get. So you do have options to kind of work around that, but it's annoying if it's not your default. So like to me, this is just way too fast. So we can actually come into here and lower this and you can see when I start in the middle it's a little bit slower when I move from left to right it's a little smoother and you can get it depending on your workflow you can get it pretty slow so that you're not like because there's some people when you're visually trying to show a nervous model to a number of people they may get sick uh, so depending on the speeds and stuff so you may want to lower speeds and stuff just to prevent you from doing that you know especially after a bit when you get into the groove you may be zooming through a model and not intentionally getting people kinda sick from that so this is an option to control yourself when you're in there and another thing is is what makes me think that we got it up to 35 in this is that when we when you come over here to viewpoints they've created animations and stuff and the animations it, it looks great when you speed it up at different points and it could have kind of distorted something when they were doing that or they manually did it because one thing that you can do is come into here in the interface and then your viewpoint defaults you can set a linear speed of six feet or you can set a linear speed of anything you want here and the linear speed was defaulted to this so it makes me think that they changed in here when they created it so that's one thing is you know configure those defaults um, to a pretty good thing uh, to a pretty good standard speed for you know if you plan on using it throughout the uh, your firm or um, whatever the case or you know you can update it for yourself and that's kind of where you would go to change it from the options. You can also go in here and change change your viewpoints, and you can say, um, "Oh, where is it? Edit." And you can see you've got some speed. You can uh, update some of your speeds in there. You can also come into viewpoint and then edit your current viewpoint, and then you get the same options here. For, for example, the viewpoint I'm in now. Its linear speed is set down to the one that we have in the navigate because the navigate is updating your your current viewpoint. So that's again why I think that when they were creating their animations or whatever the case, maybe it was their default they edited it there, and then it kind of applied it to the view that you open directly in Navispark. So I hope this kind of you know if if you've had this problem, I hope this helps. Uh, do like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.